Rolls-Royce has a clear granular strategy and one of the strategic choices we have made is to concentrate on areas where we can create winning positions. We are bringing razor sharp focus to grow our defence business in sectors where we are strategically advantaged. One such area is combat. Rolls-Royce has been designing and producing combat jet engines for 80 years and today we support customers in combat markets in 22 countries. Current in-service products include the EJ200, the most power-dense combat engine in its class, which powers over 560 Eurofighter Typhoons in service with nine customers around the world and remains in production. Lift System, a unique solution for vertical short takeoff and landing, powering over 170 F-35Bs with the US Marine Corps, the Royal Navy and the Italian Navy and we've got further customers expected to acquire the platform in the coming years. Adol, a proven engine for trainers and light combat aircraft, in service with 15 customers globally in the Jaguar and Hawk trainer. And we have legacy products including the RB199 powering the Tornado combat aircraft in service in Germany, Italy and Saudi Arabia and plan to continue serving into the 2030s. We consider combat to be a highly attractive market with a total value that could exceed £250 billion between now and 2050, of which a significant portion remains open. In proportion, combat represents about half our total defence aero addressable market value. Our share of the combat market is currently in the range of 10 to 20 per cent by revenue in a market that is valued at around £10 billion a year when you combine the OE and aftermarket services value across our addressable countries. We support around 3,500 combat and trainer engines in service globally, of which approximately 2,500 power frontline combat aircraft, 650 power advanced jet trainers, and around 450 power basic turboprop trainers. Our production of new engines currently numbers 50 to 60 per year up from lower levels of 20 to 30 in the 2018 to 2020 period. This increase is driven by the maturity of the F-35 programme, which has moved to full rate production, driving an increased demand for our lift system. There is also increased demand for Typhoon and EJ200 in Germany, Spain and Qatar. Recently, we were very pleased to secure the contract to re-engine the B-52 for the US Air Force. With the ramp up of B-52, we expect to increase production of our combat portfolio to 100 engines per year before the end of the decade and peak at over 130 engines per year by the early 2030s. Later in the 2030s, we expect to see the ramp up of the Global Combat Air Programme, or GCAP, which is currently in development. So, what about the future? Well, while we project the combat market will remain stable with somewhat moderate growth in real terms, we are confident that our advantaged business possesses the differentiators required to significantly advance our market share across a number of campaigns. We are leveraging our unmatched global presence and our full engine capability in NATO's top three nations by defence expenditure, the US, the UK and Germany. In the last two years, we have won programmes that set the foundation for our growth. Firstly, we will re-engine the B-52 strategic bomber with American-made F-130 engines. It is anticipated the US Air Force will acquire over 600 engines, the first of which are currently undergoing testing at our facility at the NASA Stennis Space Center. Secondly, under the Global Combat Air Programme, or GCAP, the UK, Japan and Italy will develop and deliver a next-generation crewed combat aircraft with a bespoke advanced power and propulsion system. We are in the assessment phase of that programme and progressing towards a joint engine demonstrator. Team Tempest brings together the UK GCAP industry partners with the UK Ministry of Defence to de-risk key technologies that will underpin GCAP. We are working to deliver on our customers' targeted entry to service date in 2035. Team Tempest is symptomatic of some new trends in the market we are seeing that we believe are aligned to our advantage position in the combat market. Firstly, customers are increasingly placing a high premium on autonomy and operational freedom. Rolls-Royce is one of a very few organisations able to develop, integrate, produce and sustain a combat engine across its life cycle. 
Therefore, we believe we are positioned to meet these expectations, delivering customer and shareholder value. Secondly, there is the emergence of a new class of uncrewed combat systems designed to team up with crewed platforms as force multipliers in a part of a system of systems. This is driven by the adoption of autonomy and AI. In fact, across Rolls-Royce, we are leveraging new digital technologies and AI to hone our competitive edge and serve our customers better. We are also working smarter, being simpler and more efficient in our working practices. One example is our Orpheus engine demonstrator. It showcases our ability to develop affordable products in record new times for new combat platforms. Orpheus is a joint programme between Rolls-Royce and the UK's Ministry of Defence. It is rapidly demonstrating small engine capability and our ability to accelerate engine development at pace for future combat platforms. This will transform new product introduction timescales. Orpheus is a novel, small engine family concept unveiled at Farnborough Air Show in 2022. It has been developed to demonstrate a small engine range capable of meeting the future power demands of tomorrow's combat air systems that can be scaled and easily configured, ready for use in multiple applications. With embedded electrical power generation capability, the engine family is ready for future, more electric vehicles. However, Orpheus is not just about developing advanced capability to open new defence markets, it is leading a revolution in transforming future engine development. It has captured the imagination and is inspiring new ways of working at Rolls-Royce and across industry. In just two years, Orpheus has smashed traditional engineering boundaries throughout all stages of the development, design and build process. It has been instrumental in demonstrating we can deliver novel capability much faster than before at lower cost and with less investment. We've successfully designed, manufactured and run over 50 tests across three engine block variants. We did this by implementing new agile working practices, which was underpinned by a rapid make supply chain. We fully empowered and aligned our engineering and manufacturing teams with this process and this approach has enabled the capability to learn fast through doing, completely disrupting current ways of thinking. A deeper collaboration with more than 30 small to medium sized businesses across our supply chain has helped drive maximum benefit from UK industry, significantly reducing product cost in addition to accelerating time to test. We significantly reduced development times by utilising advanced manufacturing methods such as additive layer manufacturing. These advanced techniques also allow us to optimise and manufacture lighter weight components, meaning our customers can benefit from a product that delivers more power with less fuel. For Rolls-Royce, Orpheus represents a blueprint capable of delivering transformational benefits to many new engine development programmes and the wider working culture across Rolls-Royce business sectors and our supply chain. Orpheus supports the rapid development of a new generation combat air platforms. The market for small combat air platform propulsion is forecast to be worth around £20 billion over the next 25 years. And for our customers and partners, the Orpheus development engine will be instrumental in informing critical technology developments, enabling rapid de-risking of new and novel technologies to enhance their military capability. It's just one of the ways that we are building on our differentiated and enduring strengths to deepen our competitive advantage. Our focus on the combat market will help see us unlock the full potential of Rolls-Royce and make us a high-performing, competitive, resilient and growing business.